Hi everyone, <coughs> it's me again um, on this nice evening uh, in Surrey Netherton. Um, I'm trying to think of the date now. Uh, April the, oh my word, 20 something. Oh no, 23rd, somewhere around then. Um, Comment below, let me know which date it is because I haven't got a clue. Um, I had a really busy weekend playing Nottingham on Friday night, doing my gigs. Nottingham Friday night. Last night was uh, Birmingham, just up the road. But again, didn't get back till quarter two this morning. Saturday morning where it's quarter past one in the morning uh, after a basically ooh, nine, ten, eleven hours after work. Um, but yeah, I've been down the pot, the uh, plot yesterday morning and this morning and this afternoon. I had a meeting with my mum and dad and come back down and some planted some uh, fruit trees up. Little dwarf ones they call them. Um, so let's show you what I've been up to. There you go, it's the top half. You're now thinking, it looks the same. Well this very top half is really basically the same. But, pathway cleared this side of the pathway out, cleared this pathway, um, not done a lot with these, but I've also removed all the rubbish that was in this corner, tidied that up a bit, that is definitely comfrey by the way, um, celery from last year, look at the growth on this, Unbelievable. So, I think I'm going to get another load out of that. Um, the chard, one, yeah, I think you'll be okay. They need a bit tidying up. They've been pecked, I think, a little bit. Um, you can see a bit of rubbish, I've been cleaning it up um, from down here. I just need to get all the soil back in and tidied up and leveled off. Um, a few more little bits and pieces to do here. All the lavender needs to be deadheaded. Um, can't that tonight, nice. I've got to go home now, I've had enough of that. But look, Mr. Sorry, Mrs. Carmen, tidying up, look, bricks go there, up the front end of the plot. Sticks are all night and tidy there, I've got to sort through them different lengths. The chair that's broke, I've got to dish, get rid of that, that's going to skip. Pigeon poo, to be spread. Um, the cardboard did a great um, thing over Christmas on this particular bed. Kept the weeds down, so literally all this just needs a good raking over. Some more chard here. That one I think might have gone. Um, but these are the new ones. I've got to do all the. I've got to do these paths. I'm gonna try and get up here for just an hour for real, so tomorrow night and clean all that up. Then that path's ready. Um, I think I said a few weeks ago they got some wood chip, so I'm going to try and get some. Uh, the pathway here, I need to weed all this because I don't use weed killer, so I have to do it by hand, but I don't mind. I'd rather do that than using lots of weed killer to be perfectly honest. Um, still got to do this particular side of the polytunnel, but it, it's holding up at the moment, just got to flatten all that off. But this is the big difference. We've cleared all these out. And I have some little oh, little plants, little trees. I have a plum. Again, these are dwarfs. I've heard people say it before and I've grown about 20,000 foot bloody tall. But anyway, that's a pear. That's a very disgustingly looking strawberry patch which needs to be done next time I'm available and that one as well I then have a little apple a little apple it says apple in various languages domestica gala oh, whatever that is and then this one here this little chappy it's a cherry I'm going to do some, put some posts up on each bed big sturdy posts with wires going across to support them um, but basically this is going to be like the fruit because it's shadier in here this side of the polytunnel you just get the sun 
but then it gets shadier in the afternoon so it's not going to be absolutely ridiculously hot that was the idea behind that if i'm doing it completely wrong please do tell me put it in the comments i'm still new to it i've never grown trees or miniature trees or anything like this before my mum wanted me to get some and she's got it there. she got them uh, we went and had a look at them yesterday the shop that she she does the floristry work from there you go it's my tour i'll empty that tomorrow um my rubbish tip of my bits and mud's piled up here potatoes with some little footprints in some potato bed potatoes are in the other half i've got to obviously clean out same as this bit got to clean all this out i put some of the old uh, fabric down here clean all this out because if you remember last year i actually widened this so i need to pull all that up clean it all off flatten it all down and put some new um membrane down i've got some spare anyway um we want to be in trenches are still looking okay just a little bit of weeding to do there all the uh gubbins are in all the chicken pellets and chicken manure all dug in a while back and same as this bed here so hopefully and i've sorted out all of the sticks these are the ones that i'm going to use obviously foot rights here which are still nine foot tall those are the little bits that are broken off or the bottoms are broken off and i'm sure that everybody out there and if any newbies are here uh, and you listen to any old guys that have been doing it for a while don't ever throw anything away um especially bamboo canes which have broken in half get rid of the ones that split and rotten that are not going to be any good or if they're going to be any good for if they're breaking half as in split lengthwise like this one's going to probably split lengthwise split split it in half then use it as markers for your lines for your um your different seeds if sown as a marker um just notice mum and dad have been down here earlier i know my dad was filling this up blessing he hasn't put the lid back on there but i said i was coming down to check over later so i had a little break i had a little mini break and i went to the pub for a quick pint mr coleman would uh, approve i'm sure but i've come back and i've done some more work so uh, my mum's helped me finish off this bed bless her she's probably lying down in the darkened room now i've noticed something else i need to take back which is my old measuring stick that i've had for a number of years now <clears throat> mum and dad bought me this a while back and it's a good clean got a bit wet when i polytunnel leak but it's got all the different um measurements and whatever you don't have to use these but nice little present um broad beans these are ones that we bought um in 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 the end because all mine got burnt they're looking a bit forlorn um i've just put them in um Again, these are from where my mum works. The problem is with a lot of these um, places, what they tend to do is they put them in one pot and to, to split them all up is a nightmare. And I've got a couple of pots left back in there with ones that haven't germinated properly or they're just about germinating. So I've put them all in there, see if they've got any bigger. Some of these were a little bit scorched and some of them aren't really very strong or don't look they look a bit weedy but at the end of the day beers can't be choosers i had no other option um and i'm sure that these will catch up root and get a bit stronger shall we say dad's plot rhubarb doing brilliant it's really caught up now it's it's it's, it's doing superb um i don't know when to start picking some of it actually got some seed heads growing as well so I've got to be careful for those guys um, and for those newies seed heads when you're growing um, there you go there's one start to form there and you don't want them because they take all the energy away we tend to leave them for a little while and then um, you can see some more there but they split as well and they do various wonderful things so I'll leave them for a bit longer and then take them off that's okay bit of a rubbishy tip on here but again i was collecting all the stuff in one place or trying to 
working my way down and uh, you guys always heard the adage little but often I sort of go for it and then come down and do a little bit often but it's trying to sort it all out in your own head where things have got to go so there's another little nice little pile there Mrs Carmen look nice little pile of bricks so it's getting tidied um, once I've got all this I'm going to get all that folded up I've got the box inside the polytunnel once all that's folded up that can all go in the box and then be put in the wonky donkey whoa that's made you seasick the wonky donkey shed which is still there Mr wonky donkey um, and then that footpath there what I tend to do is store bits and pieces up there uh, and I need to put a water butt at the end and use the water channel here um, so what I might do is put the um, some of the wood light up this side not the other side anyway as this has just come up with battery low I'm not going to touch anything because I'm hopefully going to try and get you all in one go here here's the polytunnel strawberries doing okay spring onions leeks which I've tried to flush out I think um, various basil mint and all different various things um, some cucumbers growing in there hopefully chives um, shallots garlic a waste of time they've all rotted apart from the elephant garlic should have gone out last year my sweet corn I'm really pleased on and a 40 odd I think I've got I think I'm going to four, one, two, three, six, four sixes, twenty-four, forty-eight. Out of forty-eight, I've got thirty-eight. They've shot up, and I've got another two in that tub there. So I'm really pleased with that. If you remember last year, guys, I've got absolutely nothing. Quickly zooming over here. P trenchy thingies are doing okay. It's all coming up. There's some of the the broad beans that I was talking about. Put them back in there. My courgettes have suddenly just completely come straight up. Some more basil. Um. Sown some runner beans in that one, climbing beans, blue lake in there, which I got nothing out of last year. That's four of my tomato plants that are left from being scorched to death out of 70. There's the reminiscence of my uh, broad beans completely dead, those haven't turned up. That's my mother's um, grapevine, which is doing great. First year it's been in, so I'm just leaving it. I'm not going to prune it or do anything with it. Um, at home I've got loads of tomato seedlings to go again. Um, the Most of them are all about this size. So I've all got to be um, picked out. Which is what I did with the other ones which I had. But unfortunately I put them on the top shelf on the Saturday when it was cool. Of course we had that hot weather on Thursday which I couldn't come down to uh, move or water or anything. So on the Wednesday. And so when I came down on a Thursday, they were all dead. You live and learn. Strawberry plants I saved from last, well, in the polytunnel from last year are doing okay. Potatoes, these are all going to go out. I've got to put more into them. I'm so far behind. But it's okay. I'm enjoying it now. Um, had a lot on my plate recently. Um, various bits and pieces um, fortunately a loss in the family I think I mentioned before and some health scares myself and all the rest of it but things are on the way upwards as I would say so I've probably bored you all to tears so I will leave you at that uh, and hopefully you're all having a great growing season, or you're starting to have a great growing season. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. If you do a thumbs down, say the reasons why. Probably my accent or my boring tone. Um, but just let me know and put some comments down. Um, I get plenty of comments at work. But unfortunately, it's not normally after, over my YouTube channel. Um, Oh, I've got some lettuces there coming up as well. So things are start to grow and the weather start to turn. So as I said, all have a great growing season. Um, hope yours is all getting on now. Um, and I'll speak to you later. Cheers, guys. Bye.